Uh, I'm Shri Peruvemba for SID and uh, I'm very pleased to uh, introduce uh, Mike Maybe, who is uh, uh, Chief Technology Officer for QuarkLogic. Uh, Mike, uh, welcome uh, to SID. And, Hi, Shri, uh, thank you very much. And uh, I would very much like to speak to you about this uh, unique product uh, that you have and uh, I'll try to get an idea as to what kind of markets you're targeting, why, why is this product special, and obviously we know the benefits of electronic paper, but um, uh, tell me what is the fundamental problem we're trying to solve in the marketplace with this product? So this is um, the Quilla um, world's largest connected e-writer. Um, it is a finally a real true replacement for a flip chart and a whiteboard. Uh, the um, walk up and use uh, features of this thing make it um, very useful for anybody to just walk up. You don't need to have any kind of education or knowledge of how to use it. You can just walk up and start writing on it right away. Uh, everything you do is saved automatically. It has intuitive touch features that allow you to say select what you've written, move it around. It feels like writing on paper. It's a true replacement for a flip chart and whiteboard. If you're going to replace uh, an ink technology with digital technology, you need to do it with digital ink, and that's what this does. It's because of the, the wonderful technology that's lying behind this, the uh, large largest e-ink display of its of this size, or of this, of this type in the world, allows us to run an extremely low power. So low power, you can pick it up and run it on battery for like 16 hours or so. Uh, but it's, it is digital. So um, you can take your information with you, you can um, uh, write stuff on here, and it's automatically saved. You can go into another room, use another one of our Quillas, bring up the information that you have and it goes with you. So you never have to worry about someone coming and erasing your information and not being able to get it back again. So this type of a product, um, uh, you know, when I look at this and I think of uh, companies, either very successful, well-established companies that started uh, their whole business by writing a plan on uh, a whiteboard versus companies today, uh, startup companies, are probably writing their plan, their ideas, their wishes, their dreams on something and there's no easy way of capturing that, there's no easy way to share that, there's no easy way to collaborate. Uh, is that sort of the core aspect of a problem, sort of the whole uh, 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 the idea of ideation that uh, you are uh, converting into uh, an electronic format and making it user friendly. Is that a sort of a decent description? Yes, this is exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to capture the brainstorming step. Um, so the, the whole point of this is that um, you're able to um, just go up, use it immediately for whatever kind of brainstorming that you want to do. You can um, uh, continue like doing flow charts, doing agendas, doing um, however you would normally use a uh, flip chart or a whiteboard. That information that is typically done during uh, in meetings will get lost. People may take a picture on their phone, they might lose it. Um, but in this case, using this kind of digital technology, it's always retained, you can always get it back again. And uh, you can collaborate uh, live on oh, real time? Yes, absolutely, very good point, that's right. So while this is a wonderful collaboration tool for people standing around it, yeah. it's also a great collaboration tool for people who are remote as well mm -hmm. too. And when so. you say remote, does it have to be in the same building or can it be in a different uh, city? Yeah, it could be anywhere. So this, these devices connect up through our central um, um, software as a service uh, offering and it allows you to connect, say, someone who is in Toronto and someone else is in New York. And whatever one person is doing in this brainstorming session, the other people can see just as effectively and can, and can write on there and contribute as well to so something new. So the product was uh, uh, sort of uh, initially announced at CES, and uh, uh, you're here at SID uh, with the demo. Um, what has the response been in the marketplace for the product? It's been tremendous. There's been a huge amount of interest from this. We've got interest from a number of different um, uh, market verticals, and it seems like everybody is very interested in getting a flip chart or a whiteboard, which is actually fantastic. So we, while we've been showing it and uh, kind of pre-announcing and getting the interest, um, we actually haven't been selling it yet. We're going to start doing that inside of a couple of months, and we've got a huge amount of interest. And um, we're looking forward to actually getting this into a lot of people's hands very soon. So there are products um, that attempted to do something similar using LCD, and most of them, I thought, were somewhat complicated to use. 
How easy is it to use this product? Well, it literally is. What we say is it's walk up and use. It has some very complex modes of where you can be sharing information as we were talking about remotely, but in even its most complex mode, you can always walk up, use it with a pen, just draw on it, and you can just erase with the back of the pen. So that is the very simplest thing. Then what we've done is we've created a number of menus that are kind of on the outside that can be discovered and um, allow you to do things like change pen color, create content, um, change your workbook, that sort of thing. But you don't need any of those. On a very simple basis, it's as easy to use as a flip chart and whiteboard. Now, there have been many attempts to do interactive technologies inside boardrooms and, and um, meeting rooms and such. And as a general use or a general um, case, they're not normally used because they're too complex to start up and to get you in. Here, to get going on it, you just pick up the pen and you start and drawing. And you start writing. Yep. Well, it says feels like uh, writing on paper. May I try? Absolutely. And uh, since we are at uh, uh, Display Week, uh, we, we will see if you can say. Thank you. It is. Uh, there is that feel of there's a little bit of scratch kind of feeling that you get from the pen that uh, you know you, you, it's not smooth surface. There is some roughness to that. Was it deliberately done? It uh, absolutely was deliberately done. So this is not a glass surface. This is a surface that's been married to the uh, nib on this to give you a feeling, a friction feeling that you would get as as. Um, as close as we can get with yeah. uh, pen on paper or so ink on paper. If we want to take this outdoors, let's say, because obviously we are at the uh, Display Week show. The show has actually ended, so people are tearing things down. So imagine we wanted to continue the conversation and we can pick it up. How heavy is this uh, device? It's about 22 pounds. Okay. Um, with and the it's got battery backup. It does. And uh, if the you take it outdoors, uh, it will look good outdoors. It's a reflector display, right? Absolutely. So Works better outdoors than, than even anywhere. <laughs> so. And uh, how long will the battery last? Uh, 16 hours, um, non-stop use. That's a so lot of time it is. Uh, for the device. Extremely low power device. From um, going away from the, uh, the hardware, what are some unique features that you've incorporated in the product that you think are quite revolutionary? So for an e-writer, e-writers typically, because they're extremely low power, they also tend to use low power processors. Mm. In our case, we actually have a very good mix of quite, quite powerful processor with very low power at the same time. So we're able to do some tricks that allow us, because of the extra power, we can do this networking, we can do this uh, continuous updates, um, and we allow uh, um, this sharing to be automatically built into the device itself, right? So the extra power that comes with this device, um, in addition to the very low power use, is, a, is a, I think, a, a huge boon for it. And the other thing, of course, is the display technology married with our automatic differentiation in the touch technology. So we can tell the difference between a pen and, say, a finger and, say, two fingers for moving things around and, say, the eraser on the back. You don't need to invoke any UI to bring about these different things. You just automatically do it. Another kind of revolutionary thing that we put into the product. It'll be really cool uh, if I were, uh, you know, using this device and I, uh, you know, I went away for a while when I come back. Is there a way for it to recognize me and uh, make sure that I don't see your stuff and I only see my stuff? Absolutely, you can have the data travel with you. So it is persistent data. If you were to walk away and just use it as the whiteboard using its own local data, you can leave it there or you can delete it as you wish. It will stay around. If, however, you log yourself in, and there's a number of ways that you can log yourself in, the data will travel with you and is associated with you. So when you log out, it goes back to whatever it was showing before and your data is now safe. And then the next quilla you log into wherever, you will able to access that information. You can also use a USB key, data key on there, and then keep the data on the data key and when you walk away it goes with you as well. So you can either have the security or the persistence or both. Cool, well, uh, you know, so what's the uh, next step for you? Where are you guys gonna uh, uh, demo this product again? What is, uh, are you gonna be at other shows? Absolutely, so we're gonna be in Infocom down in Orlando in mid-June and we're gonna be uh, again showing this thing and be able to take pre-orders. We're looking forward to doing that. So. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much uh, for being at SID. As uh, a Thank member you, of SID, I really appreciate uh, uh, you coming out and demoing the product and taking all the time. And even though the show has ended, you're still here supporting. Thank you so much for everything and, and good luck to you. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for 